Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? So, anyways, y'all y'all know about the Pleistocene epic. Let, let me not say that. Let me say the Ice Age. The Ice Age. Y'all know about the Ice Age. Well, it was a geological time period that lasted from 2.5 million years ago all the way to 11,000 years ago. So this was recent, like very recent when it comes to the time period of the Earth. It's most famously known for its movies named after the time period itself, with the main characters being a mammoth, a ground sloth, and a smilodon. But this, this, this is not, this isn't about the movie. It's about the time period. But I'm not gonna give you animals that you already know about. No, we're not doing that. I'm going to give you animals that you probably have heard of. So, animal number one is the short-faced bear. So, the short-faced bear was the largest carnivore, the largest carnivorous mammal to ever live in North America. At the shoulder, they stood at four feet tall. But, if they stood on their hind legs, they stood at a massive height of 11 feet tall. And they possibly weighed around 1,000 pounds. They lived from Minnesota all the way to the Midwest and as far north as Alaska. They probably ate bison, musk oxen, horses, deer, and caribou. Because, you know, they're huge. They're like really big. These are the biggest bears like of all time. Now next on the list, I have the giant beaver. The giant beaver was the largest rodent to ever live in North America. And they were about seven feet long. And they stood around a height of three feet tall if they were sitting on their hind legs. They could have possibly weighed up to 400 pounds and their teeth could reach a large size of 15 centimeters long. Now rodents are known for their ever growing teeth, that's why they have to chew on shit. But golly, 15 centimeters long? Shit. They lived in the near the Atlantic coast and they lived in the Great Lakes. Alright, next on the list is the Beragian lion or the cave lion. This was a Eurasian lion species, a little larger than today's African lion. They reached a size of about 13 feet long and reached a weight of around 700 pounds. They lived in Eurasia, Alaska, Canada, and the Arctic, and they were eating caribou, deer, bear cubs, and goats. Yes, bear cubs, because once again, the short-faced bear was wandering around North America. So yeah, try to take that nigga down. All right, next on the list, is the flat-headed peccary. This is an extinct pig-like species that lived in the United States and Mexico. They were about the same size as a European boar standing at around 30 inches at the height of the shoulder and weighed around 66 pounds. They do resemble pigs and boars, but they aren't pigs or boars. Peccaries, like they look like them, but they're not. They're like a whole different species. Not a different species, they're, they're a whole like a different family of mammals. Now, the final animal that I have for you is Paleoloxodon, or the Asian straight tusk elephant. This is the largest elephant species ever discovered and possibly the largest land animal of all time. This has competition though with the Paraceratherium, which is an ancestor of the rhino, which also lived in the same time period. But we're not talking about the Paraceratherium, we're talking about Paleoloxodon. Now, Paleoloxodon stood at a giant height of 15 feet tall at the shoulder and weighed roughly 22 tons. Imagine that. Imagine a 15 foot elephant, 22 ton elephant walking around Asia right now. And like I said, they were living in Asia, so obviously they were closely related to the Asian elephants of today. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got for y'all today. Um, I hope y'all didn't learn anything before this. I hope y'all didn't know about any of these animals until now. So if you didn't, that's great. If you did, fuck you. Because I'm trying to inform people, but you like like don't know shit. Like please stop 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 learning shit. Please, like like I beg you, please stop learning shit. Let me teach it to you.